Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I love you. I love you. Nice. you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> How do you feel? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, I'm ready. I love you. I love you. Lauren, you're my best friend, my other half, and the love of my life for forever and ever. Ever since we first met, I knew you were my person. You're my favorite person to spend time with, and I miss you so much when we are apart. I'm about to make my life forever yours and to build our dreams together. You're the first person I want to see in the morning and the last at night. I'm about to always protect you from harm, to stand with you against your troubles and help you through your worries. I promise to grow with you and build with you a better life each day as we learn from each other to be patient, kind, giving, and always cherish each day together. I promise to always be faithful to you and to be by your side through everything. I promise to be your shoulder to lean on or cry on, <clears throat> to wipe away the tears of sadness and bring you a lifetime of happiness. It is a privilege that I get to go through life with you, cry with you, care for you, and share with, you, share with this life with you. I love you. I love that I get to run with you and walk with you and build with you and live with you. I promise to listen to your advice and to never keep score. I promise to always admire your huge, strong, and kind, determined heart, and that I will always love you. I promise you my unconditional love and undying devotion, <clears throat> and I love you for everything that makes you who you are. You are the love of my life, today and forever. I give you my heart, soul, and trust, no matter what the future might bring, for forever and ever. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I tried not to. <clears throat> Patrick. My best friend, the person I call home, my husband from this day forward. He came into my life at exactly the right time, and every day since you have made me feel so happy, so loved, and so complete. You are the most genuine, loving, and hardworking, hardworking person. I thank God for you and the life we are creating together every day, especially today on our wedding day. Oh. On this day and each day to come, I choose you. I promise to always love and support you. I promise to be by your side through all of the ups and downs. I promise to cheer you on and help you to achieve your life goals. I vow to always be faithful and always be your best friend no matter what and for all of our days. I love you more than anything and I'm so proud to be your wife. Here's to us and a lifetime full of love, laughter, and happiness together. Love you. Love you. Okay. Love you. All right, we did it.
Welcome, cherished friends and family, to this joyous day, this unforgettable event, this shining moment of happiness in the lives of Lauren and Patrick. This is no ordinary day. Today, our concerns are not with work, chores at home, bills to pay, or the other myriad of things that beg our attention at every turn. No, today is something different. Today is something better. As we sit here gathered as one to bear witness to the culmination of the boundless love shared by two people that we all care so deeply for, let us remember what this day truly is. Let us recall that Lauren and Patrick stand before us in the throes of a deep and abiding love. In the whole wide world, they have found one another. It may be the communication of two souls, it may be divine intervention, or it may be sheer blind luck. Whatever the explanation, the result is something exceptional. Lauren and Patrick, having found one another, are ready to find themselves all over again. They stand here on the precipice of the rest of their lives. And it is this event, this group of people, this day that will launch them forward into a bright future of their own building. There will be happiness, there will be sadness, there will be victories, and there will be defeats. There will be fights where Patrick is wrong, and there will be fights when Lauren is right. <laughs> but through it all, Lauren and Patrick, there will be you, the two of you. I mention all of that to make this simple point. Individually, you two are remarkable people who have lived full, rich lives surrounded by friends and family that feel so fortunate to have those exalted titles. But together, you're nearly unstoppable. Lauren and Patrick, the two of you are truly a team. You stand side by side supporting one another. There is no leader. There is no follower. You are equals in every sense of the word. You're both committed to the task of balancing yourself, your sense of self as individuals with your broader sense of self as united couple. Truly, you make each other better by being yourselves and in doing so, you make everyone around you better. Together, your joy will be magnified. Your sorrows will be muted 
and the sheer written richness of your days will know no equal. Patrick and Lauren, in your life together, you encourage open communication and actively consider all of the angles. You listen to each other and delight in each other's presence. You encourage one another to tell your respective side of the story and strive for understanding. But life has a way of making things difficult, of throwing obstacles in our path. Put simply, you will be challenged in ways that no one could possibly predict, and these challenges must be met by a sturdy foundation of love and commitment, devotion and desire, bright-eyed optimism, and steady realism. And so today, standing before this group of people who love you both so deeply, I ask you to clearly state your intentions to honor that foundation. Patrick, please take Lauren's hands. Affirm your promise of marriage and repeat after me. I, Patrick, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. I, Patrick, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. I promise to devote myself to you. I promise to devote myself to you. I promise to do everything I can to be a worthy companion. I promise to do everything I can to be a worthy companion. I promise to protect you and cherish the life we build together. I promise to protect you and cher cherish, the life. cherish the life we build together. Yes, great. I promise to laugh with you often and cry with you when necessary. I promise to laugh with you often and cry with you when necessary. I promise to listen to you and support your happiness in any way I can. I promise to listen to you and support your happiness in any way that I can. I promise to be faithful to you all the days of my life. I promise to be faithful to you all the days of my life. Above all, I promise to love you as fully and fiercely as you deserve to be loved. Above all, I promise to love you as fiercely and fully and fully as, as you, you deserve. deserve to be loved. Lauren, take Patrick's hands, affirm your promise of marriage, and repeat after me. I, Lauren, take you, Patrick, to be my husband. I, Lauren, take you, Patrick, to be my husband. I promise to devote myself to you. I promise to devote myself to you. I promise to do everything I can to be a worthy companion. I promise to do everything I can to be a worthy companion. I promise to protect you and cherish the life we build together. I promise to protect you and cherish the life we build together. I promise to laugh with you often and cry with you when necessary. I promise to laugh with you often and cry with you when necessary. I promise to listen to you and support your happiness in any way I can. I promise to listen to you and support your happiness in any way I can. I promise to be faithful to you all the days of my life. I promise to be faithful to you all the days of my life. Above all, I promise to love you and fully, as fully and fiercely as you deserve to be loved. Above all, I promise to love you as fully and fiercely oh, as you deserve to be loved. As you deserve to be loved. <laughs> <laughs> great, great job. That was the hard part, I promise. Excellent. With those proclamations of your faithful intentions, you have, you have accepted responsibility for each other and the eternal happiness you seek. From this day forward, you will be one. You will look to each other for strength and compassion, guidance and affection, unconditional love and tenderness. The exchange of rings is meant to symbolize this union and remind you both of the other's presence in your spirit, even when you are physically separated. So, Patrick... Take this ring from your brother and place it on Lauren's finger and repeat after me. Lauren, I give you this ring. Lauren, I give you this ring. As a sign of my everlasting love. As a sign of my everlasting love. And a symbol of my undying devotion. And a symbol of my undying devotion. All right, now, Lauren, your turn. <laughs> Patrick, I give you this ring. Patrick, I give you this ring as a sign of my everlasting love, as a sign of my everlasting love, and a symbol of my undying devotion, and a symbol of my undying devotion. Lauren and Patrick, you woke up this morning as two, but now you are one. You have come here of your own free will to become a team who will wade into the vastness of your future side by side. As we have all seen your love is strong and it will only grow stronger. You are friends, you are partners, and now, without further ado, you are husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
one more time Cause I wanna see it Whenever I close my eyes If I write it down And hold it close Would it give me this feeling Whenever I need it most Tell me it will always be like this Promise that you won't let me forget Into the morning, chasing the light Sure sister, I have known you all your life, and by that I mean I've seen you in the impossible light of girlhood. I've watched sadness dissipate, unexpected set in, and joy arrive. With all the spaces in between, from high school crushes, taking girls out on the soccer field, watching you pile on the whipped cream and sprinkles onto your ice cream sundaes, the amount of hand movements you make while talking, and if you know, you know, um, the car ride on the way to birthday dinner, the moment before the photograph, and a million during, and now being a bride. Growing up, you and I were not the closest, but some may say we were like night and day. In our old age, we've become closer day after day, though. I may act like I don't appreciate the uninvited hugs, overuse of I love you, or numerous, and I mean numerous, FaceTime calls, to see if I like the way something looks on you or in your house. But in all honesty, I wouldn't have it any other way. How lucky are we to know a love like this? There was a time that your confidence wavered and your strong, outspoken personality dimmed. Seeing you try to overcome this was the hardest thing. But then you crossed paths with someone who instantly made you feel calm, refreshed, alive, and wholesome. He encourages your dreams and celebrates your wins without an ounce of jealousy. He wants what's best for you and for him. There isn't much more to it. He is warm and bright, loving and very loyal. You can't help but feel authentically happy in his presence, like the best version of yourself. Pat, I watch in admiration of how you put up with my neurotic, indecisive, and very strong-minded sister. But I really, truly cannot thank you enough for helping piece her back together and bringing her limitless happiness. With this being my final sign off as the Griffin Girls, everyone, please join me in raising your glasses. <laughs> Aviva Esposi, Elaviva Lamore, hooray to the bride and groom, and long live love. Cheers, everybody. My name's Nick, and I'm Pat's favorite brother and best man. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate Pat and Lauren. There's a lot I could say about Pat, but I'm going to keep it short. <laughs> He's been one of the best brothers to look up to and one of the hardest to one-up, because let's be honest, everything he does, he's pretty freaking good at. We've always been pretty close. It doesn't matter if he's sitting at home with a broken leg and he called me up and said, let's go egging cars, which led to us getting pulled over. 
or the night it was 10 o'clock and he said, I need your help pulling me out of the mud because he buried my dad's truck up to the frame. <laughs> but like I said, he's the best. And one of the best guys I could ever look up to. And Lauren, I remember the first day you came over and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't hold back from being myself, which that's a lot. <laughs> but I'm glad to say it didn't phase her. And once you left, I did go up to my dad and I'm like, you know, she's pretty nice. And that's a lot because I'm, you know, very judgmental. <laughs> but now you're finally part of the family and I couldn't be more thrilled about it. You both bring out the best in each other and I love you both. So if everyone again could raise their glass <laughs> to Pat and Lauren. <laughs> You know, hello everyone, my name is Brad Griffin, um, the proud father of the bride. And I must say, it's an incredible honor to be in front of everybody. So, um, thank you for being here. Um, and uh, don't worry, I promise to keep this uh, very sweet and simple, um, and certainly shorter than the time it takes my wonderful daughter Lauren to get ready. <laughs> Um, I want to take a, sh uh, a minute to shout out the wedding party. Uh, the ladies, you look beautiful. Guys, I don't say this often. But you look handsome. And of course, uh, Hattie, Flossie, and Giovanni. I don't know if they're in here, but uh, they are beautiful and handsome young, uh, young people. So um, that's good. So uh, I wanted to thank everyone for joining us on this special day. Uh, your presence means the world to us and we appreciate the love and support you've shown our family. Uh, we are also incredibly grateful to our friends and family who have contributed their time, support and resources to make this day possible. And I also wanna thank everyone who could not be here with us. We're all also thinking of them as well. Lauren, today I have the pleasure of talking about my daughter, Lauren. Lauren, you, are, you have always been determined, outspoken, competitive, and passionate with a little bit of goofiness mixed in. From taking your first steps and walking, I should say running, at nine months old. I couldn't even keep up with her, I swear. Nine months old, she's running all over the place. Uh, to your tenacity on the lacrosse and soccer field. And I know you loved me and mom being at the, the games. And, you know, when I would say something, uh, you would give me a nice hand gesture if I said something a little bit too loud to her, like, go score a goal so we can win. And at the end of the day, she did. Um, and graduating college a semester early, you have always kept your mother and I on our toes. No doubt about that. Your love and support for your oldest sister, Ashley, and younger brother, Jacob, is second to none. And being the middle child, that is a big accomplishment. Your caring and determined nature as an adult, as well as your free spirit and zest for life inspire me and your mother every day. Your happiness and safety has always been our priority and seeing you continue to have that with Patrick brings so much happiness to your mother and I, you look beautiful. I couldn't be prouder, and I, I love you with all my heart. So this was for both of you, but it's let's let's talk a little bit about Pat first. So, so Pat, the man who captured Lauren's heart, from the moment I met Pat. I knew he had a chance with me. <laughs> me. Just remember that. <laughs> I saw someone truly special in Patrick. Uh, even though at times he talked too much. Really did, he talked too much. Anyway, he doesn't talk a lot. Um, action speaks words. And I really appreciate that because um, that's what he's all about. And uh, it's a big deal for me. His unwavering love, loyalty, and devotion to Lauren are evident in every interaction they have. And you'll see that 
If you're around them a lot, you'll see that all the time, not just tonight. Danielle, Ashley, Jacob, and I thank Christine and Pat Sr. for sharing Pat with our family, and especially Lauren, and raising a, a remarkable man. So thank you. Today I have gained another son, and we are overjoyed to officially welcome Pat into our family. So Pat, thank you for loving Lauren and bringing such happiness into her life. So Lauren and Pat, as you begin, begin this incredible journey together, remember that a strong marriage is built on love, trust, and communication. Cherish and respect one another. Be each other's biggest supporters and face the challenges of life as a team. Something that's always stuck with me, a quote that has always been with me is, is and I think everybody can resonate from this, is, is being a family means you are part of something wonderful. It means you will love and be loved for the rest of your life. So without further ado, Please raise your glasses high as we toast the happiness and love of Pat and Lauren. May your days be filled with endless love, laughter, and shared dreams to the newlyweds. We are now Mr. and Mrs. Castile. <laughs> We just really want to thank everybody for being here, everybody that put so much effort and energy into our day. Um, each and every one of you make it so special, and we are so happy that we made it here um, and that we're officially married. So thank you so much. I hope everybody enjoys the night, and let's party! A wandering heart on a crazy ride An open road and a deep blue sky Feel it calling me like the wind Trust the compass down in my skin Walk straight, stay right That's what they say to me But I don't fit right Inside the lines oh, oh, oh. told me, son, that soul of yours was born to run. It's your adventure for you to choose, and you'll know home when you'll find your roots. Just remember, don't walk straight, stay right. That's what they say to me, but I 